I just slid into the floor. Okay. Hey y'all, it's Shiana and I'm back again with another video. Today's video is going to be a girl talk. I'm so excited for this video because I always want to do videos like this, but I never really get like good topics to talk about or like I never really get asked any questions to be honest. So I'm doing my own girl talk today. And in today's girl talk, I'm going to be telling you guys the key to self-love, okay? So... Just a few updates. I hope you have like this little setting. I'm literally sitting in the floor in my house. Like I just been running around trying to find somewhere that I could film this at. And this is the place that I chose. So I hope that this is a good place, I guess. I don't know. I'm just sitting here. I got some natural light coming in. I'm sitting on the floor. So hopefully this is a good angle. I'm not too sure though. At the lock sale, you guys, on the 19th of January, today is the 6th, and on the 19th, I will be a year locked. I'm so excited, like, it's not like there's going to be any big thing happening, but I'm just going to be excited to, like, actually have my locks for a year. I will be doing a video all about my locks, though, for my year anniversary, so you guys, make sure you stay tuned for that, and yeah, I think that's all I have to say, so we're going to get right into the video. So I just have some tips on my phone that I just wrote down when I was trying to think of this video idea and I'm just going to be talking about them. Um, one of the first things that I would have to say is a good step to take towards um, getting the key to self love would have to be believing in yourself. It's very hard, it's easier said than done. I'm still working on it to this day, but you have to at least have some type of foundation like to believe in yourself and in, in to have these ideas that you have and to make them come to life like nobody's gonna believe in you so you have to believe in yourself now you might have very supportive friend groups and you might even have like a supportive boyfriend or girlfriend or parents even um that can be there for you but if you're not believing in yourself if you're not feeding yourself good things and good energy and things like that there's no way that it can happen like so one of the things that can help self-love a lot is definitely social media um you cannot compare yourself this is like another thing easier said than done all of these things are pretty much easier said than done but it's about the work that you put in to to put yourself above those things social media is a great invention it's amazing how we can talk to someone across the world just from touching something on our phones or like video chatting with people who are in a completely different state from you that's technology is amazing social media is amazing you can connect with people that you haven't talked to for years but you connected somehow because you've been following them on instagram you know what i'm saying and if there's someone that you follow and every day you scroll past and you look on your feed and you see something about you see a photo that they post and it makes you feel bad about yourself because you're not where they are or you don't look like they look or anything like that there's probably somebody who you shouldn't be following there's a difference between following someone who can motivate you and can kind of like inspire you but if it's essentially making you feel bad about yourself you probably shouldn't be following them and because teenagers or young adults these days um because they because we're on social media so much it consumes our entire like i know i don't remember what i was saying that was my train of thought something about following people yeah like just following people that are good for you you want to follow people who inspire you and who kind of get your brain juices flowing you're on social media seven hours a day if not more you know you want to make sure that what you're looking at and what you're feeding your brain is essentially positive for you you don't want to be putting negative things into your head and to the point where if you like look at someone else's page and it makes you feel bad about yourself and you feel insecure and you um stop believing in yourself that's not the type of people that you should follow so it's the beginning of a new year it's january go and go ahead and get a cleanse of everything go through your followers i know me i follow thousands of people so to do something like that would take ages but one day i'm gonna sit down and do it but um or like if you just see them going down your feed like here and there you can unfollow them like that i still do that sometimes another thing i think is one of my like biggest steps that i took as far as self-love is really just like enhancing your beauty um make that's what makeup is all about it's all about enhancing your features and taking something that's already beautiful and making it more 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 beautiful more this more that so um i feel like for me it's this is my face that I was born with. If I literally cannot get up and go somewhere throughout the day, 
looking like this if I can't accept myself no one else is gonna accept me you know it was a mind thing and I was very like obsessed with like looking to the T all the time and it's just like you don't have to be like that and you don't have to wear foundation every day you know nothing so now um I hardly wear makeup anyways on a day-to-day -day basis, but as I'm getting older, like I just turned 20 and stuff, so this little like makeup look that I'm doing today is kind of something that I'm trying to do, like just to get an everyday look going, just so I can feel more put together. It's fine to each his own. If you like wearing wigs all the time, if you like wearing lace fronts, if you like wearing braids all the time, whatever. If you like those things, then to each his own, then do you. But personally, I just feel like if you take what God already gave you and enhance that if you put if you you people spend hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars into like wigs and makeup and all these things size clothes because clothes we're gonna take this out because clothes and shoes that's that's a whole different thing but as far as like hair and makeup like things like that cosmetic things like that um even down to like getting your nails done like it's People spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars into that stuff. Like, imagine if you put all those hundreds of dollars into, like, taking care of your real hair. Or, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, pouring into yourself naturally. Like, not saying that if you wear fake hair, if you wear weed, this, this, that. Because I wore my fair share of wigs. I used to have my nails, like, this, like, long. Um, and I used to cake my face all the time. I had to have lashes on it every day. But it's like... If you p take that time that you're putting into those artificial things to make yourself, like people are doing those artificial things to make themselves feel good about themselves. Like it's fine, um, like protecting your hair and wearing protective styles and everything like that, but to still also be taking care of your hair under it. Like I don't want you guys to feel like, or I don't want it to be like people feel like they have to wear a wig because that's how they look presentable because their real hair isn't presentable like this is the hair that you were born with that god gave you on this earth so therefore like how how can you like be okay with saying that every day you're never going a day like wearing your real hair out to the world so people can see like and yes i'm wearing makeup right now yes i have my nails done but they're short but it's just like it's just what i'm saying like learn how to use things in moderation it's just for me in my opinion i just feel like someone who has a lace front and has their nails long and is wearing like has like high-end makeup all over their face they look good okay they look bomb right but putting all of that energy into growing out your real hair growing out your real nails and like maybe a, like minimal makeup to enhance the features that you already have imagine how much better you would feel about yourself or how or imagine like how much more bomb they would look you get what i'm saying i'm not knocking anything i'm just saying to use things in moderation to enhance the beauty you already have versus like covering it up with artificial things to create a different kind of beauty being comfortable this just ties into what i was just saying like it's the same thing about clothes like for me i feel like these are more this is more so my journey and i'm explaining to you guys like how i found the key to self-love i'm not really trying to like tell anybody else what to do because that's not me but i do feel like last semester my spring semester i was very like into being an instagram baddie i was trying to force this look on myself like wearing like the kinds of clothes you know like ordering for fashion nova and, da, 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 da. and like it wasn't that i didn't like these things it wasn't like i was completely unhappy and like wearing my wig and beating my face every day wearing lashes and dressing that way it wasn't that i was unhappy it was just that now that i've made it to this place it's like i'm so much more happy like just being comfortable wearing things that make you happy like if you feel if you're if you're wearing something that you feel like it looks really good but you're uncomfortable you're not going to be as happy versus wearing something that's completely comfortable and it's you you know what i'm saying like it's just everything is all in the head and you just have to pour it to yourself you it really is a full-time job loving yourself like um learning to love yourself is definitely positive affirmations like going on pinterest and just looking up inspiring quotes and stuff like that just having um maybe following certain twitter accounts or instagram accounts that post like positive things seeing that kind of stuff on your timeline and throughout your day can really change your outlook sometimes you can read a quote that you've never seen before but it really hits you for that specific day you know what i'm saying you never know so just 
constantly finding ways to put positive things into your lifestyle, your everyday lifestyle, because that's that is what a lifestyle is, your everyday habits. So you want to just not do something every now and then, and and like kind of space it out. You want to be doing something every day to increase the the sense of self and the sense of self love that you want to have for yourself you know what i'm saying so protect your energy okay that is what's important your energy is just it it drives your everyday life like how you feel your moods you're going through the motions of the day like you don't want to be a negative person that is just it's it's it takes a lot more work to be negative anyway so And another thing, and the last thing that I really just wanted to speak on is just that I'm still in my journey as well. Like, I don't think there's ever a point where you get to the point where you can't love yourself enough. Like, where you're just, okay, I did the self the self love journey and I'm done now. So, you know, I it's a learning process. Every single day, you're doing things to take further steps towards getting to that place that is just like a a comfortable place but it's not the the your final destination i'm sitting here rambling and not making any sense i hope you guys were on the same page with me and if you guys are going through your own self-love journey and you want to leave your own tips leave those tips down below in the comments we could just talk about them if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure you guys comment down below if you have anything to say about it. also be sure to share this video with your friends or maybe your significant other or your family members anybody who you feel like needs to hear some of the things that i was saying go ahead and be sure to share and also be sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me they're free and also um be sure to turn on the post notifications bell to be able to see every single time i upload and yeah i don't think there's anything else to talk about <laughs> but i cannot wait to see you guys again and i will talk to you guys in my next video bye Looking like a queen that don't take no shit Might just fly to the west real quick Shout out what you mean, you deserve this dude <laughs>